Mark Dice is once again shredding Ben Shapiro and causing him to go into a panic mode. Here we have this video from Mark Dice. It says, Ben Shapiro in a panic. Joe Rogan is getting involved now. Daily Wire debacle getting worse. Ben Shapiro was pressed once again on why they fired Candace Owens and Mark Dice tears it all apart in this video. Let's check out this video here from Mark Dice talking about the Ben Shapiro, Candace Owens, Daily Wire situation. Well, Ben Shapiro was asked again about why Candace Owens was fired, and I'll play that clip and so much more for you in just a moment. As you know, him and the Daily Wire are in a panic. They're in the midst of a growing PR nightmare over the firing of Candace Owens, which they did last Friday on a news dump day, hoping to minimize the controversy. But the controversy just didn't spark from firing Candace Owens. It really went supernova because of their odd code of silence about why they fired Candace, which is extremely obvious to everyone. And now Joe Rogan has weighed in on the situation, siding with Candace, and after his utterly bizarre and just pathetic interview with Pierce Morgan, which was supposed to be about something else, but then, well, the elephant in the room got brought up to Pierce's credit, and he didn't just let Ben off the hook. He pressed him and pressed him and pressed him again, while little Ben just sat there smirking, saying nothing. So he sat down face to face with his good friend, Dave Rubin, the token gay guy of conservative Inc., who, along with his husband, recently just bought several children through surrogacy, something I covered in a previous video at the time, in order to, well, spin a bunch of lies and try to gaslight what fans he has left. All right, so let's do the elephant in the room for just... And by the way, that Pierce Morgan appearance was super pathetic. Like, the, the way that Ben Shapiro acted whenever he was asked about Candace Owens, not only was he not answering the question, but he was also super smug about it like you could tell he was trying to send the message of yeah i fired candace owens and i'm proud of it while saying no i i don't have the power to fire candace owens but you could tell he was like very very smug about it and you know I, it, it pissed me off i think that was probably his intention to to piss some people off that were mad about the candace owens firing he was pretty much trying to send the message i think of yeah i fired, fired candace owens and there's nothing you can do about it you know, that, that's that's what I got out of that. But anyway, let's check out here. Mark Dice reacting to Ben Shapiro over on Dave Rubin's podcast. Just a moment, because I saw you this week on Piers Morgan. He asked you repeatedly about Candace. Uh, you repeatedly basically said, I won't talk about don't that. Yeah, talk I'll about say that it. here too. I, I, yeah, <laughs> and that's fine. And, and, you know, it's interesting because we all sort of came up together to different extents and we've all done a million things together. You've all made tens of millions of dollars in the inner sanctum of conservative Inc. with Dave Rubin spending a measly 5.2 million on a nice mansion. Can you at least talk to just sort of just sort of where it's at now. She's not with you. She's free. She's and, free to do whatever and... she wants to do. I'm sorry, we need a quick fact check here because she is not free to do whatever she wants or to say whatever she wants because every single mainstream personality at any major network. If you enjoy content like this, then make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. Signs a contract that has a non-disparagement clause in the contract, which means that for the rest of their life, they will never be able to speak negatively of that network or any of their personalities ever. Have you heard Tucker Carlson expose Fox News since he left? No, because of the non-disparagement clause. Oh, and another fun fact about the business, this may end up being another one of those long and in-depth reports, so grab a cup of coffee or something and sit tight because there's a lot to get into, is that it's also standard in these contracts to have an arbitration clause. And what that means is that if an employee is fired, after they're fired, if they decide to sue their former employer, the network, or if the network decides to sue a former host because they start mouthing off and you know disparaging them, then that is all done in secret because normally when somebody files a civil lawsuit against somebody, that is all public. The I also think that's another reason why Ben Shapiro is being so smug about it. Every single time he's asked about Candace Owens on Piers Morgan, on Dave Rubin, everywhere he's asked about it, he's super smug about it. And I think that's because he knows they did something wrong. Like, obviously he doesn't, I think he does think it's wrong, but I, I think it's in it's it follows his own beliefs so he doesn't believe it's wrong i think he thinks it's wrong and hypocritical and goes against directly the freedom of speech that they claim that they they love so much but because candace owens signed that non-disparagement agreement he knows that she can't say anything and she can't reveal what really happened behind the scenes and he knows you know if it ever does come out it'll be because ben shapiro wants it to come out or if it comes out of Candace Owens' mouth, then she's going to get sued into oblivion. So that's another reason why I think Ben Shapiro is so smug on the whole issue. Evidence, the depositions, the trial itself, all public. But people are allowed to put an arbitration clause in contracts. And then what that means is then it's not public. It's all done in secret. And in case it's not completely obvious, which it probably is, just to be perfectly clear, I'm not bound by any NDAs because 
I don't sell my First Amendment rights for any amount of money. Now back to little Ben. Would you like to try to repair the enormous and irreparable damage that you've already done to your credibility, Ben? So the Daily Wire would not have a host, would not pay a host who was staunchly pro-abortion. Mm -hmm. They'd have no obligation to pay a host who is staunchly pro-abortion. And so when it comes to the host on the Daily Wire, obviously everyone is able to say what they want. Nobody ever comes to me and says, you can't say X, nobody ever says that to Walsh. And no one ever said that to Candace. But you just said that the Daily Wire would fire any host who was staunchly pro-abortion. And that's their right. Any news organization has an editorial policy. And if one of their hosts starts saying things that violate the editorial policies or what the corporate controllers want hosts to say, that's perfectly within their right to fire them. I think most people would just like you to admit the obvious unwritten rule in conservative media that if you dare criticize Israel, no matter how mild, how reasonable, if you show an ounce of sympathy for the dead Palestinian women and children, then you get fired. But here's where the lies get laughable. You know, there are a lot of people who are suggesting that this is about disagreements over Israel. I mean, I can safely say it is not about disagreements over Israel to the extent that without reference to Candace at all here, Matt Walsh has taken the position that America ought not be involved in the Middle East at all. That's just a pure isolationist position. I disagree with it. I think it's wrong. I think that, that it's short-sighted. But again, he's on our platform. That, that is well- But that's not criticizing Israel, is it? That's saying, that's criticizing America for being involved in that war. But Candace Owens was directly criticizing that the Middle Eastern countries, you know, how they were handling the whole thing. It's completely different. And whenever Matt Walsh did try to question them, and, and you know, he-, he was on a podcast with Ben Shapiro and Jeremy Boring. He tried to say that it's not patriotic necessarily to what to get involved as an American in these other wars. And they shut him down immediately and said, no, it is patriotic, you know, and, and you better stop questioning. <laughs> they basically said, stop going down that line of questioning right now and, and change the subject really quick. Because if we get, did continue down that line, they would have to fire him too. And we all know it. We all know that that's why Candace Owens got fired. But Ben Shapiro is going to keep dancing around the question and keep acting like, that's not why she got fired, which I don't even know why he's acting like that, because it's obvious to everyone with a brain in their head. Within the range of acceptable discourse at the Daily Wire. Did you catch that? Ben's a lawyer. He went to Harvard Law. He's very intelligent, very cunning. He said, well, it's not about disagreements over Israel to the extent that, and then cited the opposition to financially and militarily getting involved in Israel's business, which Matt Walsh is opposed to. So technically, on rare occasions, a Daily Wire host could mention that they're just a non-interventionalist, but then they would know, and Matt Walsh knows, that he's getting pretty close to crossing that unwritten rule. But if they mention it too many times, then they would be called an anti-Semite because they would be considered fixating on anti-Israeli policies. The straw that broke the camel's back with Candace Owens was her expressing sympathy for the thousands of dead innocent civilians, many women and children in Gaza. That's not allowed because then you're making Israel look bad. You're only supposed to consider every single Palestinian to be guilty, to be a member of Hamas or a Hamas sympathizer. Stay tuned because it's funny. And that's just not reasonable. That's just not a common sense way of looking at things. Candace Owens, once again, never called for violence towards anyone. In my opinion, never made a hateful comment towards anyone. And I think anyone who is making hateful comments towards anyone in the Middle East at all, as an American, is, is, is just dumb. It, it, it's not right. Like towards, I'm saying like as a generalization towards a certain group of people, you shouldn't be doing that. We shouldn't be involved in anything anyway. <laughs> like we, that shouldn't be a focus of ours, but it is. And if you question the fact that America is focusing on that or the fact that one of the Middle Eastern countries is being very, very rash in their decision making and in their actions towards the other Middle Eastern country, then you get fired like Candace Owens or you get shut down like Matt Walsh was, you know, and that's not just for the Daily Wire. That goes for any conservative, you know, as they like to say, as Mark Dice likes to say, conservative Inc. company, you know, that, that goes for all of them. Any any of these people then they know, like like Mark Dice was saying, these people like Dave Rubin, Ben Shapiro, they're raking in tens of millions of dollars. I think the Daily Wire is making a hundred million dollars a year. Like they they don't care about spreading the truth. They care about making money. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that. It's like saying like, oh, Walmart doesn't care about spreading the truth. They only care about making money. Like, of course, nothing inherently wrong with that. It's just like, I wish they would be more open. I, and I guess they couldn't because I would hurt business, but you know, I, I wish people would wake up a little bit more to the fact that that's the case. And they're incentivized to say whatever it is that they have to say that's going to make them the most money and not necessarily say what the actual truth is. And, and, and it's not in their best interest to get to the bottom of the truth. And that's what Candace Owens was doing. And that's why she was fired. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you're thinking about Mark Dice. Once again, shredding Ben Shapiro and, and just picking apart his lies. This video goes on for a lot longer. So if you haven't watched the full Mark Dice video, make sure you go check out the full thing. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.